Researchers are still trying to figure out the origins of COVID-19. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Rotana joins us live now to explain why it's so difficult to get to the bottom of this. Judith. Well, a researcher at Duke says what we know right now is that the virus that causes COVID-19 evolved from a virus that came from bats. What they're trying to answer is where and when did the virus decide humans would be a better host? Dr. Lin Fa Wang investigated Kovi-1 in China 17 years ago. He's now trying to find the origins of Kovi-2, the coronavirus. Three possibilities. The virus brought to Wuhan by a human, by animal, or by frozen food. And I would rank the frozen food as number three. No conclusive answers came from a World Health Organization investigative team. The ongoing pandemic and the political sort of environment is not conducive to this kind of research, but that's only a minor part. The biggest reason? It's scientifically difficult. We are amazingly careless in moving species around the world. We have almost no screening when people transport species. Humans are transporting animals quicker than ever before making it a challenge to retrace our steps. If a person or an animal or a food product harbors a novel virus, that can be moved rather quickly halfway around the world and, uh, and cause a threat to a different population. Ecologists say we should consider limiting wildlife trade and the exotic animals we eat. It's believed HIV jumped to people after humans started deforesting chimpanzee environments and harvesting their meat. We're not getting these viruses from our crop fields. Doctors Pim and Gray say countries need to be proactive in finding disease within animals before it's too late. We have sort of what I consider to be a whack-a-mole policy right now. Awful, terrible, depressing thing to say, but there's more where this came from. Well, scientists still can't say how long it will take to pin down where this virus took root. It took two years to find the origins of SARS, but 50 years after Ebola emerged, we still don't know exactly where it started. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.